Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick follow-up with the new 10.6 version of Logic. Really the biggest update was the uh, addition of the step sequencer into the mobile app. So either for the iPad or iPhone, I'm going to look at the iPhone one today. And I've been using this now for a little bit. I've always liked the remote app and I think that it's a huge benefit for Logic. And um, I think there's a part of me that wants to be able to do stuff like this in the app without having to rely on the mouse input. But there are some things about this that I've noticed. And so I wanted to put a, you know, a week or so in between the update and making this video so I could really test it out. And here's what I've really decided. I think it's great. I think I like having it here so I can hold my phone while I'm using Logic, but there's a couple things that I've been just uh, really disliking. One of them is when I go half the time to the screen and I wanna move it up and down, at first I was swiping in the middle of the screen and sure enough, I'm changing parameters instead of swiping. And so you have to remember to always swipe from the side to go up and down. That's a big deal. And it took some getting used to. It was not as intuitive as it could be. I will say, I wish that as I was swiping along on the side with my app, that I wish the screen in Logic would also pan. That wouldn't have been so hard to add, I don't think. Things I do like. I like being able to program really easily all this stuff in here. So for instance, let's push play. So it is like I'm holding the device in my hand because I have the play, transport at the top left, my thumb can hit that. I can scroll really easily then with that. Now I can open up little side elements here to give me the additional controls. But what I prefer to do is click on the right side of the screen and do things like note repeat. So I'm changing the two main categories. And so now I can do some additional, like I do use note repeats all the time. I just love being able to add that element in here. You can see that I get further definition if I click and hold on something, it expands it out a little bit, which is kind of nice. So the overall system is great. And once you get used to this, you can think of this as like the handheld version of Logic. It's just uh, attached to the computer. So you have to have the whole computer obviously, but I'm working as if I'm in the Logic that's on my phone, if that makes sense. And so for those reasons, I think that this is a great tool. And once you start using this, it actually begins to be something that you use the transport for all the time, rather than just when you're using this. So it's easy to hold your phone in your hand and, and do a lot of stuff with that there. You get used to it now that they've added enough functionality to make it worth the while of using it. Okay. Um, that's really what I wanted to showcase today. I think that um, it's a great addition. I think that Logic is better because of it. And I do think that um, this is going to just increase 
as more versions come out, more and more will move on to the uh, the remote app in some ways. Um, we're still kind of waiting to see if Logic goes on to the iPad Pro. You know, there's a lot up in the air right now, but I don't think that we're going backwards. I think we're going forwards. Okay, that's it. Another video coming soon. We've taken a little bit of a break. And now we're going to be back at it more often.